Russell Wilson. This story's been looming for a few days now. Some former Seahawks teammates, or current Seahawks teammates of his, have said he's not black enough. Now, this is something, Doug Chapman, I don't know how much you've heard it coming up in locker rooms or in life. I know I've heard it both in locker rooms and in life, and it prompts a bigger discussion here in the black culture. Is What exactly do people mean, especially black guys saying to other black guys or black people to other black people, that they're not black enough. What's your take on it? I think it's the dumbest thing you could actually say because what does it mean when a black person tells another black person that he's not black enough? I mean, what do you have, is there some like level that you have to achieve that, that all of a sudden, oh, now you're officially black? Do you wear like a badge? Do you have to rob somebody? Do you have to do what Michael Vick did, what Plexico Burris did, what Ray Rice did? Does that make him black enough? Is Barack Obama black enough? He's only half black. To me, it's the stupidest thing a black person can say to another. Well, yeah, you know, I don't know where it comes from because I don't subscribe to that theory. I don't subscribe to that thought. But, you know, you can be educated and you can still be black enough. Beyonce is black enough. Jay Z's black enough. LeBron James is black enough. Doug, these guys and these women are all considered black enough, yet they're educated, yet they're living in a higher tax bracket. So I don't really understand the thought process behind it. What I get. The impression is Russell Wilson's not cool enough. He doesn't have the swagger of a black person. He doesn't have the rhythm or the feel of what black coolness is. And that, to me, is ignorance. Well, I think what it is is that people have taken and they've attached street credibility to being black. Street cred? What is street cred? They're, I don't even know. Anybody can have street cred. I think it's stupid. I don't think that anything, keeping they, they think keeping it real is having street cred. And, and sometimes people think keeping it real is committing a crime. That ain't keeping it, that's keeping it stupid. Crime has no color. Crime can be a black guy, a white guy, an Asian guy. Crime should not be relegated to just black people. If a black guy commits a crime, crime or he's a real black guy. That's the dumbest thing. Russell Wilson's from my hometown. I know where he's from. His grandfather was the president at an HBCU at Norfolk State University, an all-black school. He comes from a very educated family. His father was an attorney. His father was active in the civil rights movement. People do your homework on these people. It's because he's not doing anything negative. He's a devout Christian. And hey, he married a white girl. He's not married to her anymore. That doesn't mean anything, though. It's no, there's no definition on being black and not being black, and there shouldn't be any black enough. I think that's the dumbest thing yeah, I've ever heard. Yeah, it's an life. unfortunate phenomenon for, it seems like only our culture is one where you have to be the certain race enough, and it's something you love to get past. It's a story I hate to cover, personally. Crabs but in a bucket. It, it's still there.